substitution with expression. So in algebra, substitution means putting blank where the letters or numbers are. So we are putting values. Values could also just be numbers where the letters or variables are. So putting values where the variables are. So if we look at this one, when we have x minus 2, and we know that x is equal to 6, then we're going to take that 6 and put it in right here for x. Okay? So we're just substituting that in. So here's an example. When x equals 2, what is x 10 divided by x plus 4? Well, I'm going to come over here and do it. I know they have it done down here, but... So when x equals 2, what is 10? And we know that we do our division by, like this. Divided by x is equal to 2. You literally could come right here and put a 2 on top of that. x 10 plus 4. So 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus 4 is 9. If x equals 3 and y equals 4, then x squared plus xy is equal to what? So x is 3. So I'm going to come right there and put a 3 right there. I'm going to put a 3 right there. This is x times y. So that's going to be 3 times 4. So I have 3 squared plus 3 times 4. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. And 9 plus 12 is 21. X is 3, but we don't know why. Then what is x squared plus x times y? So x is 3, and we don't know what y is, so it just stays like that. So we have 3 squared plus 3y. The only thing we can do is this. 3 squared is 9 plus 3y. These are expressions. This is an expression. It does not have an equal sign. That is an expression. There is no equal sign here. So we can't solve it. That's how expressions differ from equations. Expressions and equations are not the same thing. You can only simplify an expression or you can you can simplify or, an evalu or evaluate an expression once with substitution. You can substitute in. Okay? So... When substituting negative numbers, put a parenthesis around them so you can get the calculations right. So just notice how they put the parentheses there. We're going to come down here and um, just work these examples real quick. So 2x plus 6 minus x in x is equal to 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 3 in for x on top of x. And then I'm going to come over here, 2 times 3 plus 6 minus 3. That's 6 plus 6 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. X is negative 2 times Y is 4. So I put my values in over here. Now I'm going to come over here and write it. Ne negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8, plus 2, plus 12. Negative 8, plus 2 is a negative 6, plus 12. Negative 6, plus 12 is a positive 6. So 3 minus x, and x is negative 3, so I'm going to put a parenthesis there. Put a parenthesis there, put my negative 3 in. 
Now I'm going to come over here and write it. Okay. I need to rewrite this as addition. So this is going to be 3 plus. Remember, this is keep it, change it, opposite. Okay, so Jordan called in the middle of that, so I had to stop it and answer. So um, let's just keep going. But this is keep it, change it, opposite. So that becomes 3 plus 3 plus 4 times negative 3. Now, I got to do my 4 times negative 3 first because of order operations. So that's a negative 12. Okay. Then that's 6 plus a negative 12, and 6 plus a negative 12 is negative 6. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Your practice today will be with substitution, and let me know if you need me.